Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Khair Sawi from Khairi BioLife YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be answering some bacteria and viruses based questions. So, let's get started. In the first question, what type of prokaryote exists in salty environments, such as the Great Salt Lake? Salty environment is the key word. Yes, salty means hollow. So the answer simply is halophiles. And halophiles, methanogens, and thermoacidophiles are kinds of archaeobacteria. Second question. Name the structures on the outer surface of a bacterium that serve as a bridge between cells. Serve as bridge. Bridge here is the key word. Bridge in bacterium, mm, it's billy or billy you can call it. Billy is one of the structures the bacterium has. Billy, capsule, cell wall, cell membrane, ribosomes, flagella, all of these are structures of bacterium, but which helps the bacteria to make a bridge between, in, between it and another bacterium. Of course, for conjugation, the process of exchanging genetic material. Yeah, it's Billy here. Small hair-like projections on the capsule of the bacterium. Question three. How do saprotrophs obtain energy? Saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are kind of decomposers. Saprotrophs obtain their food and obtain their energy by decomposing genetic material. Decompose the genetic, uh, the organic material. Yeah, this is the answer. Next. In which domain are bacteria found? Archaea, or bacteria, or eukarya, or protesta. Domain. Life is divided only into three domains. Domain archaea, domain bacteria, and domain eukarya. Protesta is not a domain. Protesta is a kingdom. So the answer might be A, or B, or C. But so easy. It's mentioned here, bacteria. It's answered. So bacteria in domain bacteria. What an easy question. Question five. Which domain includes thermoacidophiles, halophiles, and methanogens? I think we already answered this question um, in uh, question number one already. Three groups. Mm. These three groups are three groups actually of archaea. Yeah, archaea. It's the answer. Question six. What material is found in bacteria, but not in archaea? Mm. Bacteria and archaea both have cell walls, but bacteria have cell wall with peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan is a complex of nitrogen and, and a carbohydrate, while archaea have a cell wall without peptidoglycan. So, this is the answer. Question seven. What cell structure helps shelter bacteria from the effects of antibiotics? Shelter that helps the bacteria from the effects of antibiotics? Mm. Is it capsule, nucleoid, plasmid, or plasma membrane? None of these helps the bacteria from the antibiotics except the capsule, the outer shell it has that covers the cell wall. So the answer is capsule. Nucleoid is the area inside the bacterium uh, where the chromosomes and plasmid found. Plasma membrane is a thin, flexible membrane surrounds the bacterium. Doesn't help in uh, uh, the effects of antibiotics. Next question. Question eight. What is the term for prokaryotes that have this shape, this shape, or even this shape? Is it bacilli, cocci, pili, or spirally? Bacilli is a rod shape. Cocci 
is a spherical shape. Really, it's just the outer um, um, hair-like projections helps the bacterium uh, for conjugation, spirally, from, it, from the world, having spiral shape. Kukai is circle or spherical. Spirally is a uh, spiral shape. It means this is bacilli-like. This is bacilli-like, rod shape. It's not spherical, it's not spiral. And of course, it's not a structure of bacterium. It is a shape of bacterium. So, if you don't know the answer, if you don't know what bacilli means, so you don't have nothing but bacilli to choose, which is the answer. What occurs during conjugation? Conjugation actually is the process of transferring genetic material. It's a sexual process. Happens in bacteria and paramecium. We do this to be different. So the answer is transfer of genetic material. Next question. Why are viruses considered to be non-living? Viruses non-living? Yeah, they're non-living. They can do nothing, nothing at all. Although they cause a disaster, cause many problems, cause many diseases with no treatments like COVID-19. And still non-living? Yes, they're non-living. They're just codes enclosing a genetic material, whether DNA or RNA. Viruses are non-living for a major reason, which is they can't replicate their own. This is why they must invade uh, um, uh, living cells to uh, reproduce and become more. So C is the answer. Question 11. What type of virus inserts RNA? This is the keyword. And reverse transcriptase into cells. Reverse transcriptase means after it, inject, it injects its RNA, it must change it to DNA. Then later, before it leaves the host cell, change it back to RNA. Back to the point, which has RNA? Viruses with RNAs are actually called re retroviruses. Yeah? Retroviruses. A retrovirus is a virus with DNA, just like common cold virus. Bacteriophage is a virus invading bacteria. Prion. Prion is an in, uh, infectious protein particle, invades uh, nerve cells. So the answer is retrovirus. Next question. Identify the structure of this prokaryotic cell that prevents it from drying out. This is a bacterium. These all are the structures the bacterium has. Plasmid, flagella, plasmid membrane, pla plasma membrane, sorry, cell wall, capsule, chromosome, ribosomes, and pili. All of these are structures, but which helps or prevents the bacterium from drying out? I think it's the shell, the outer wall, which is capsule. Okay, so the answer is capsule. Now the ribosome just makes protein. Plasma membrane, just thin flexible membrane surrounds the, 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 uh, the living cell uh, and enabling it to control what enters and what leaves the cell. And clearly we said before, helps in conjugation. Question 14. What process for of reproduction is shown here? This shows splitting of a bacterium cell into two identical cells. Two identical cells means it's a sexual process. Mm. Budding is a sexual process, but it happens when a mass uh, grows on the same cell. Binary fission is a splitting the cell into two identical cells. Yeah, it means it's binary fission, the answer. While conjugation is the process by which bacteria and paramecia, for example, exchange their genetic material. Nuclear fusion, this is not in living cells. This is about chemistry. When two uh, nuclei fuse together. 15. Use this figure to determine what process this bacterial cell is undergoing here. What's going here? What's going on here? What's going on here actually is a trial of the cell to enclose its DNA when conditions are not right, are harsh. 
like extreme cold or extreme hot or a large amount of ultraviolet radiations and so on. It means it's endospore. Endospore production is a method the bacteria use to survive. This is the answer. Next, question 16. Before prescribing an antibiotic, what does a physician need to know about the bacteria causing the infection? Is it the shape of the bacteria or the type of cell wall? It's about the antibiotic. Antibiotics actually work in breaking the cell wall. If you are a physician, first, you wanna identify uh, the kind, the structure, the nature of the cell wall the bacteria has. So it's all about the cell wall. Nothing mentioned about the cell wall except in B. Type of cell wall the bacteria have. Yes, determines what kind of antibiotics will be prescribed. Next question. For which virus? Is there not yet a vaccine? Not yet a vaccine? Many viruses don't have a vaccine yet. All of these have vaccines, except one, except AIDS-causing agent or HIV. Not yet, no vaccines to treat AIDS-causing agents or AIDS. What type of infection is caused by a virus that replicates by the lysogenic cycle? Two cycles are there viruses cause. Lytic, it's a quick infection. Lysogenic cycle, it's a long-term infection. What type of infection is caused by a virus that replicates by the lysogenic cycle? Is it active infection, passive infection, advanced infection, latent infection? Hmm. It's a active infection? No, it's not active because it takes time. Is it passive without using an energy? Stays there. Advanced infection, high infection, or latent infection? It's latent infection. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in order to continue. Thank you.